Welcome back to Motor Archery. Today we have a special request. The man aus dem Eis, the man from the ice. It's about this mummy they found in the Alps, the Ötzi, and about his time. And the guy who asked me saw an article of Yuxaka. It's a company in Sylt. And they train the actors and they provide the actors with bows in the design almost like in this one of the oldest designs of bows they could find it's the Holmegard bow and he asked me if I can do a review of this bow and luckily I still have a few of them they are actually not wood they are mana it's more like a pine tree or a grass fiber so they are very good for kids we did a lot of bow building workshops because even when the tiller is not accurate they don't break this one is maybe a little stiff here in the, in the handle section, but that you see how this bow will look like in action. This is 55 inches long. So I said it's Manau, so that's why you have to make everything here a little bigger. This is 30 pounds something. This is how the bow looks like. I said maybe here the handle section is still a little too thick. But I had no time to make it now completely perfect. But see, 28, 29 inches with mana, no problem. So this is the bow. Let's shoot Mediterranean style. It's not the fastest bow, obviously, because there's a lot of mass to move. But you can get easily used to it. No knocking point, no arrow rest, but of course, directly. Uh, stay with me, directly a group. And what of course, what you can do with this one, because no arrow rest, maybe they shot this style. No problem. It's quite thick in the handle. The handle is already bending a little. But imagine the fun with the kids. They have to finish their own bow, decorate their own bow. So these bow building workshops they do at Yuxaka and Sylt are really amazing. Arrows in Mediterranean. Uh, as you see, the handle here, it really concentrates everything here at one point. So, this is really the root of your thumb, the pressure point there, and then you control this bow quite easy. He said that and he missed the target. Thumb release. Oh, even Katra. No problem. They are really a lot of fun and you can do a lot of things. You can heat the ends when you put them in oil and with a flame or with steam. And you can bend recurves in it. So they are really, when you start bow building, bow building and you're a little scared, get one of these mana bows. You see even this one. It's not completely in tiller, but it still shoots, so... Oh. Hand choke is not too much, even when the arrows are only 320 grains for a 30 pound bow. Just perfect, so... Of course you have a slight vibration, but... It's fine. So this is the bow. Now you saw it already, and now you can look forward. It's a German production with German actors. 29! Oh. So if I get here a little out, and here a little out, then this bow makes even maybe 30 inches. It's quite impressive. Shall we do a speed test? No, it's, they are not that fast. Nice bow.
Now you know it, I hope your question is answered. I show it again in detail. I didn't finish the knocks, of course, you can make everything a bit more nice. Quite simple bow with this one pressure point here. Then you don't hold the bow too tight. But even when you see this, with this pressure point on the root of your thumb and your pinky goes a little back, you instantly create katra. Oh, it's a nice thing on this bow. I like them. Yuxaka offers them now even with a um, built arrow shelf and stuff like this. You can check them, Yuxaka. I write it somewhere. Can you see, check it out. They have nice bow building workshops and they sell these as sets, they, but they sell even longbow hickory staves as sets for that you can build your merry rose longbow and stuff like this. And say hello to Peter. I worked once with him. Nice bow. See? You see here a little stiff. You could get here a little more material out and then it bends here even a little more, but then the handle starts to bend too. So, in this way, it just feels nice. Shall I get the arrows back and show you? Okay. Back in the days in Sylt, we built these ones even up to 50 pounds. So, not even for kids only. You can even build an adult bow out of this 50 pounds, no problem whatsoever. Of course, in this way you feel then stacking. Oops. Nice bow. I hope the question is answered. The Ötzi bow. This is the bow. Lightweight because it's palm tree, it's not real wood. Forgiving, even when you, you know, even this is, you really need to force them to break so they are not going anywhere so you really have to do big mistakes that you break them so i hope you liked it and i hope the question is answered thanks for watching bye bye